Hi there, I'm Sandy Almach, artist and Bible journaler here on YouTube, and today I'm going to be continuing to work in the journal that I've been doing for a couple of weeks now. It has a little bit more time to go. And on this one, I wanted to find a way to help people create the victory doodle that I shared here on YouTube a while back. And that one had swirls going different directions and had a lot of life to it and that sort of thing, had intertwining curves. And I was trying to figure out an easy way for other people to be able to do that. And this seemed to at least have a little bit leaning in that direction. Now I'm going to show you this one and I'm going to speed through it. And then I'm going to show you another version that I did, even though this will be the one I'll doodle on for this, this journal. I'm going to show you the other one because I found out some stuff in that one that worked really well. So the first thing to do, though, is to get whatever background you want in there first, just a light coating of whatever that is, and then start painting in your doodles. The thing to try for in the swirls is to have some swirls that go from the left upward to the right, and then some that go from the left downward to the right, or if you're left-handed, you might think the opposite direction, and do one set of swirls and then another set of swirls. This one I did not do as well. So there's that. It worked out in the long run, but it was it's not as easy to see the pattern of what I'm doing. But if you have some that go fatter on the left-hand side to skinnier on the right, and some that go skinnier on the left to fatter on the right, and then you flip it basically, so you have the same pattern of the, well, same similar pattern of them, but they instead go from the top down to the right so that they're a different curve, then that's gonna make them start to feel like they're intertwined. So this is the second layer on the green one. And I have these that curve the opposite direction. The others curved up and these curve down. And I'm trying to make sure that I get some that are fatter on the right hand side and just kind of intermixing these. When you're working with really light colors, you can sort of recover if you get one that's not quite the angle you want, you can sort of go back in and paint over it again and you know, kind of firm that up, that sort of thing. But here's a real quick version of what I did for the one in the Bible study lesson, which is to do one that's fat on the left and skinny on the right, and the other that is skinny on the left and fat on the right. Get that all dried and then do the opposite direction, do the ones that go from skinny on the left and fat on the right, and then the opposite way. So that you just start building up these intertwining curves. So I don't know if that helps in making any of this any easier, but in between each one of these, just do a layer of like two or three of them, and then a layer of two or three others, and then just keep going back and forth until you're satisfied with what you've got. Now remember in the journal that I'm working on, I'm going to be doodling on this. So I don't necessarily want to do a thousand layers. And now we move on to the doodling portion. And I'm going to just trace the lines, the outside edges. And this also saves you in case any of your edges went sideways that you can actually recover that by just drawing over them and no one will have any idea that your lines went crazy when you painted them. So. You can fix any of those bleeds. I'm even going to create a little extra sort of watery lines on the outside of this as well. So even if your lines in the center didn't work out having a beautiful edge to them, you can make some extra lines beyond that so that your whole shape is beautiful to your eye. Just make sure you leave enough space that you can actually do some writing in here. I also wanted to mention, as I've been doing these, you may have noticed my writing is never straight on these. This is journaling. This is not trying to do careful typography. I'm just writing a letter. And my letters, if you've ever gotten a letter from me, they are kitty wampus. I don't do anything straight. <laughs> I do them all over the place. So there you go. So yeah, here I am just adding more crazy lines in different directions to just make this pretty and to entertain myself while I pray about the scriptures for this particular page. And the topic for it 
is life's challenges and making lemonade out of lemons when things happen to us that, yeah, God can make lemonade out of anything. He can make anything work for our good. So here is what my journaling says. Thank you, Lord, for giving me so many opportunities to learn from life experiences. All the things that I may consider a fail are the same things that you make into an event for my good. You're making me like Jesus, more compassionate, more loving, more understanding. You are, I can't read, read my own writing, you're something me. You're showering me, there you go, with life's challenges so I can help others through them. Show me how to use these moments well, not just for my instinct to whine, but to show me the ways that you plan to use these experiences so I can follow in your footsteps. I want to be trained up to be used for your will. I know you can't always tell me why you're up to something, but give me the dedication to follow along where you're headed, even when I don't quite understand what you're doing. But more than anything, don't ever stop teaching me. I love you. And that is the prayer of my heart for sure, is that I want to be used by him, even though I don't always know how, how or why. There's a lot of things that happen to us in life where just junk happens. Life is just not fun. It's not good. But the number of times that you'll find later on someone else who's going through something you went through, you're able to sometimes counsel them or give them advice. But most of the time you can just be there as a listening ear because you know where they've been. For instance, I have suffered from depression my whole life. And when I find a friend or a I have a friend right now whose daughter is going through severe depression and I'm able to sit and listen and hear their hearts as they talk about what they're going through and to know what that feels like. And to someone going through a hard time, most of the time it's just a listening ear. They don't necessarily need advice. They just need somebody to hear them. So remember the next time you go through stuff, God can use that for your good, but your good is making you like Jesus. So that's what he's after. I'll see you again next week for the next part in this thank you journal.